What's up everyone, Ryfax here, and welcome to my review on the Xbox One chat pad. On the front of the box we see the chat pad, and on the back we see the chat pad, as well as the headset that it comes with in the box. And it says it comes with the chat pad headset. And here is the chat pad, right in the front. And the back of the box, you have the headset. It's the same type of headset that comes with the regular Xbox Ones. They don't, they don't come in the Xbox One box anymore, or at least the he Xbox One S. And here's the Xbox One chat pad, close up and personal. It looks almost exactly like the 360 chat pad. And when you connect it, it connects to that port on the bottom of the controller. And here's the back. It requires a controller update. Even though I had the newest update on my controller, I still had to update it once I attached this to it. And you can adjust your game volume as well as chat volume on this chat pad. And the way you connect it to the Xbox, it will even work on an Elite controller. It will work on every single Xbox controller, at least first party controllers. And your paddles will work if you have an Elite controller. It will work just fine. It actually doesn't get in the way at all. The chat pad also has a mute button as well as adjust volume buttons. And it has two shortcuts that are X1 and X2 that you could adjust in your controller settings that you could set up for screenshots or to take a clip or there's quite a few options that you could set it up to as well as snap apps. It is also backlit on every key. You can see it very well in dark areas and it shows up every time you press a key, it will light up. And my favorite part of this whole chat pad is that the keys are very, very clicky. Oh. And if you're wondering how to hook up something like a Astro A50 headset, all you need is a 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter jack. I will leave a, a link to this cable below. And it replaces that adapter thing. So you just have to remove that adapter and then you connect this into the headset and it'll plug in right into the the chat pad because the chat pad does not have a adapter port it, it it takes up the adapter port of the controller and does not have an adapter out it just has that 3.5 out if you have use for a keyboard on your xbox one or your windows 10 pc this will actually work on a Windows 10 PC that I highly recommend it. The backlink keys are really nice. It's the keyboard itself is really nice and clicky. It feels good when you're pressing each key. It's very responsive and it doesn't get in the way of your paddles. If you have an elite controller, it and it just fits just just fine in your hands. You don't you kind of forget that it's in your hands while you're playing as well it feels just really natural just the way it hooks up and it's not in the way of really anything so yes i would have to recommend this chat pad i love it i have it on my controller at all times and it's and it's great to have it's something i use quite a lot so yes i recommend it but it does cost around thirty dollars I feel that it should be more maybe around 20 I feel like they're they're pushing it up by $10 by including this headset that a lot of us don't need I already have a 50s I don't need this headset but I guess what are you gonna do I still love it uh, hopefully they'll make a version where it doesn't come with the headset and making the cost cheaper because we could just get a headset by itself if we need it anyways so yes i recommend it it's a great chat pad and yeah thank you for watching now we'll catch y'all next time bye bye mm -hmm.